All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this, Joe Rogan, the UFC welterweight championship of the world as the champion makes his way to the octagon, fighting out of that patented red corner. He has held this belt down for some time, but a lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight. The current champion, not one of them. He believes the hype is not real for the challenger. He believes he is much better than this young man, and now healthy, he is ready to prove that he's not just the best welterweight in the world at present, he is the greatest welterweight of all time. Winning this fight tonight against a significant challenger would certainly go a long way to proving just that. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Lowe. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 54 wins, 35 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the challenger, Donald Cowboy Sarani. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 65 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, international. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. They touch him up, and we are underway. Here we go. Fuck you on. You ready? You ready? Let's all go. right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. All right, so without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. This is the UFC welterweight championship, and there is the champion out of the red corner working his way to the center of the octagon. He is... Oh! He's definitely hurt. Well, when it comes to social media, for some fighters, it's an inconvenient truth of the business. They want to tune out that. They perceive it as a distraction. But for this fighter, he has really embraced it. And he has really gained a lot of traction with fight fans around the world. Now we'll see if he can put that aside and focus on the task at hand here tonight. 
Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. He's going to have to figure some things out here defensively. Moving forward and... Oh, Elbow lands. He is in trouble. He's stunned. He's got him hurt here. The champ is in big trouble. He's in deep danger right now. Who saw this coming? Oh, heavy leg kick there. That one hurt him, Joe. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice leg kick. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, beautiful. Lead right hand. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeed. Working the inside of that lead leg. Oh. That's it. That's it, that's it, fight's over. That's it, that's it. He threw that powerful leg kick all night long, and finally his opponent could take no more. TKO victory via leg kicks. Yeah, you're right, Joe. It was that one big strike that started it all, led to the knockdown, and ultimately opened up an opportunity for him to force the referee stoppage in this fight. He was flurrying. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. And there he is, folks, a man who needs no introduction, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a flurry of strikes it was to set up the eventual TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO! And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world international! So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion, and you can make the argument that this was the best performance of his career. He gets his hand raised by way of the TKO, and now all that's left to do is to celebrate with his family and friends. A nice embrace there with his head coach. They felt like if they could get over this hurdle and take out this number one contender, that it could be smooth sailing here the rest of the way. Once again, they are all chasing this man at 170 pounds. Handle my business, leave no traces On the rest of the boy, I leave you headless necklaces I'm not just stick, but I'm sweat pouring Let it mix with the gasoline I say the spark was a fair warning Blue to the other side of the world I can really go and fix in a new foreign Why you feel like you're living in love Come on, too quick, gonna hit it up Come on, more for the most of you I pack out, show me the rest of the piece But they know that I'm undefeated I ain't know, yeah, I be undefeated Stacking with, stacking though Undefeated, undefeated Everybody only want me for the crown But I never lose and never let you down We're making the wrong move, my costume. 